Welcome back to the channel. I'm really glad you're here. Today I've got something a little bit different for the channel. I'm going to try out this smart oil gauge for my heating oil tank. It's something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I bought one this week. I'm going to install it, set it up, and see how it works. So stay tuned. If you've ever run out of heating oil, whether you're on automatic delivery or not, you'll know that it is really a pain. You either have to get the company out to deliver oil or you can go out and buy a few gallons of diesel fuel or heating oil and put it in your tank to get you through, but it's no fun to run out of heating oil. These smart oil gauges are a simple installation. They screw into the top of your tank. They work off of a type of sonar to gauge how much oil is in the tank. They work with your home Wi-Fi and your smartphone and you can see supposedly exactly how much fuel is in your tank. So I'm going to install this gauge, set it up, and uh, we'll run a few little tests. Now my tank has this sight glass gauge and I can tell you from the time it was installed just a few years ago, uh, you don't know if your gauge is accurate or not. The one I had before didn't work at all, so it's hit or miss. So I'm really hoping that this electronic gauge will really be handy and it will also help me gauge, no pun intended, gauge how much fuel I'm using in a season. What you'll find when you open the box is this fully assembled unit that screws into the top of your tank. It's a two inch pipe fitting. They do make an inch and a half diameter if you happen to have that opening, but most tanks have a two inch opening. So you have this aluminum pipe. This is the unit. It has a PVC top and inside this top are the electronics. There's a uh, switch on this battery pack. The batteries are already installed. It uh, does not take standard AA batteries. They are 3.6 volt AA batteries. So uh, something I've never seen before. They look just like a AA, but they're 3.6 volts. So it's very important when you replace the batteries to use those type of batteries. It just won't work with standard AA batteries. Uh, there's also a button in here for setting up the Wi-Fi. Uh, from inside the house, I went through the setup routine just so I could uh, look at my phone better and, and uh, make sure everything was working. It was not difficult to set up. So uh, for now, I'm going to remove the cap on the top of my tank and then I'll screw this into place and we'll set up the Wi-Fi and take a look at what the interface looks like. The first thing I'm going to do is wrap pipe thread tape around the threads of this piece of pipe. And if you're not familiar with how to do this, you basically hold the pipe as if you're screwing it into place and you want to wrap the tape in that direction where it tightens up as you wrap. And don't be stingy with this Teflon pipe tape. You want to create a really good seal, especially if your tank is outdoors like mine is. So skip the first couple of threads and just really wrap it with four, five wraps of tape. Sorry, that was probably out of the shot because I was looking at what I was doing. And again, since my tank is outdoors, I'm going to want to wrap pipe tape around this top cap as well. If your tank is indoors, I don't think you have to worry about that on this piece. But on the bottom that screws into the tank, you definitely want to wrap that with Teflon tape. All right, let's take our pipe wrench and remove this cap. Before you remove the cap all the way, you want to make sure you clean any kind of debris off so that it doesn't fall into the tank. Thank you. 
Now I'm being extra careful because this is an aluminum piece of pipe. And since aluminum is so soft, I don't want to damage that pipe. But I do want to make sure it's tight enough because this tank sits right under the eave of my house. If the gutters leak, water is basically splashing down right on top of this tank. I don't want a chance of any water getting in around this seal. So the process for setting up this unit is pretty easy. Again, there's an on-off switch on the battery pack itself. You turn that on, and then according to the instructions, there's a button on top that you click two times, and it sets it up into uh, setup mode. There'll be a little flashing light, and then you follow the instructions on your phone after you install the app. Now, my phone's an iPhone, so the app came from the App Store. They do make uh, the app for Google devices as well. Once you install the app, it's pretty self-explanatory, and you just follow along through. Now, there is an alternative way to set up the unit, and I had to use that. I, I think it's because my router might be the 5 gigahertz versus the 2.4, and uh, I honestly don't know, but I couldn't get it to connect uh, through the standard app. I had to use the alternative method, which is a little bit more involved, but still uh, very easily explained in the instructions. So the way this unit works is, is pretty basic. Um, on the bottom of the unit, there is an ultrasonic sensor. When you screw this unit into the top of your tank, that sensor points down and basically bounces off the top of the oil level. And uh, by entering the size of the oil tank, it calculates how much oil is in the tank. So it's a pretty simple system, yet obviously electronic and complex enough, but uh, really a neat, neat system. After going through the initial setup where you basically uh, tell the app what size tank you have, most tanks are 275 gallons. That's exactly what I have here. There's the option of uh, changing the setup to tell if your tank is standing upright or if it's, uh, well, I guess it's horizontal or vertical. There are some round tank options as well. So mine's a standard 275. It is a vertical tank and I've set it up. I put it in. As soon as I turn the app on, it's already showing me I have 167 gallons in the tank. So uh, there are some other um, statistics on here. How many gallons per day you use, um, how many days left until you have a quarter of a tank. Um, I'll see more as I go along, but uh, you can also set up notifications on your phone where if your oil is getting low, you can get a text or an email. You can be notified when the batteries in the unit are getting low. Um, you can get notifications for if you're using excessive an excessive amount of oil. Uh, obviously, that would take some time of, of capturing the data of how much oil you normally bor uh, burn. So um, I'm excited to see this because I heat my house with oil. Our uh, water is also heated with the oil burner. So our boiler runs year round. And uh, it'll be interesting to see the difference that we use in the wintertime versus the summertime. So, um, I'm kind of a statistics geek. I love apps and electronics, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this performs. Let's see if this gauge is so accurate after all. I, I always thought it was about a quarter of a tank off. Uh, the smart oil gauge is reading 167 gallons. And I'm showing between a half tank and three quarter tank on this old gauge, which is really cloudy and hard to read. So, uh, but anyway, it's right between the two, so that'll be five-eighths of a tank. Hey Siri, what's five-eighths of 275? Five over eight times 275 is 171.875. That's actually pretty accurate. If, if this is telling me I have 171 gallons and the app is telling me I have 160 gallons, that's, or 167 gallons, that's not bad. So um, maybe this little gauge is not so far off. Uh, we'll see. Well, it's been about 24 hours since I put the unit in place, and here's what I found so far. Uh, first thing this morning, I checked the app, and uh, yesterday it was telling me I had 167 gallons in the tank. This morning it was telling me I had 100 and, like 193 gallons. So um, I think it takes some time for this sensor to acclimate itself. I know there are variations, uh, variations in readings, uh, in cold temperatures and warm temperatures. 
indoor tanks, I think, are a little more stable. Uh, but with outdoor tanks, you do have fluctuations with temperature. I hope it's not consistently 15 gallons off. I don't, I don't think that's normal. So I'm going to give it some more time and give it another week. I think it's one of those things that anytime you're building statistics, it has to be over a longer period of time. So I still think it's a great unit and I'm happy that I have it. Um, when I checked the app just recently, it was back down to like 166.5 gallons. So I think it's kind of leveling itself out um, and uh, I'll keep an eye on it and see. Now, one thing neat about the app and the unit is that uh, you can set up how often it uploads information to the app. The default setting, I believe, is four hours. Every four hours, it'll upload. Um, that's fine for me. In fact, I'll probably change that to a longer period of time, maybe every 12 hours, because I'm not going to be looking at the app every four hours. The unit, however, measures or takes a, a measurement every hour, regardless of how often it uploads to the app, it's still calculating every hour. So when you look at your statistics, it'll show you by the hour uh, the amount of fuel being used or displayed in the tank. So I think that's really great uh, because, again, I'm not going to be looking at it that often. Um, so I like the product. I can't say that I recommend it because I haven't used it long enough to do that. But if it works the way it looks like it's going to work, uh, I'm going to be really pleased. So Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the content. As always, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. And I look forward to seeing you next time.